Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn about English grammar. Before we start with English, first part we will study about sentence. Before we learn about grammar, proper grammar, about tenses, adjective, verbs and many more, we will first about what is a sentence. Okay, in this class we will learn about sentence. This video will be helpful for kids and young also. For kids who are studying in third, fourth class or second class. And for the people who want to learn English. And also helpful for the one who are going to appear for the exams. They will learn about who want to learn about English grammar. So let's start with the sentence. What is a sentence? Before we say what is a sentence, let's talk about some examples. Let's take some example. First one like Jack eat food too. Does it make any sentence? sense? No. Likes Jack eat fruits too. Does it a proper sentence? I don't think so. Was not easy January. It's also a not proper sentence. Right? Now read the following. Jack likes to eat fruit. Yes, this is a proper sentence. Words are similar. But if we arrange it in a proper way, it makes some sense. Like in above statement, likes Jack eat fruits too, doesn't make any sense. So, to learn about sentence, how to make sentence, it is very very important otherwise it will make no sense the journey was not easy right was not easy journey is a wrong way to say and it does not express anything the journey was not easy is a right way to express your sentence okay now what is the definition of sentence now we can say what is a sentence a sentence is a group of words which makes a complete sense, which make a sense. Like in previous slide we have learned about it, oh, that sentence is that which make a complete sense only, otherwise it is a no sentence. Now next let's study about kind of sentences. There are four types of sentences. First assertive or declarative. Second, interrogative, third, imperative, and fourth, exclamatory. Let's study above this in detail. First one, assertive or declarative. What is that? A sentence that makes a statement or an assertion, which give a particular information, you can say. A particular information about something, it is an assertive or declarative sentence. All declarative or assertive sentence and with the full stop. Alright. Now there are some examples. Let's see. The sun is a ball of fire. So it is an assertive sentence as it gives some information that sun is a ball of fire. Right. So it is an assertive or it can be said declarative sentence. Birds eat with their beak. Right. It also gives information that birds eat with the pigs all these and make a sense or a statement they give us some information they declare a fact about something or someone right clear next is interrogative sentences what are interrogative that you can say it is a question sentences a sentence that asks a question is called an interrogative sentence. Like, how are you? What is this? What is that? They are all interrogative sentences. They all end with the question mark. In the last, in an interrogative sentence, at last we mark a question mark. Let's see some example. What is your name? Does the sun rise in the east? So, in these statements, there is question mark at the end and they are asking something. And these are questions, so these are called interrogative sentences. 
how are you question mark is missing you can write here question mark okay imperative sentence what are imperative sentence a sentence that express a command a request or an advice is called imperative sentence right let's see some example shut the door we usually say shut the door it is a command and order we can say okay it is an imperative sentence please help me someone is requesting you to help so that is an imperative sentence do not tell lies it is an advice right don't do this don't do that we generally say that is an imperative sentence and the fourth one exclamatory sentence which can you say express your inner feelings a sentence that expresses strong sudden happy or unhappy feeling is called exclamatory sentence so okay alas hurray we have won wow it's so beautiful that wow it is an exclamatory sentence examples hurray we have won right the hurray with exclamatory sign after hurray this is called an exclamatory sign one and dot below is an exclamatory sign which defines the exclamatory sentence alas i could not make it it is a sad expression alas i could not make it okay next we study about parts of sentences there are two parts of sentences subject and predicate okay now what is subject and which part is the predicate let's study so this is a table given let's read the first one peter run fast peter runs fast right rahul is drinking water a horse eats grass these are the what are these these are the sentences all this the full it becomes sentence peter runs fast rahul is drinking water a horse eat grass why he have to, i have i have to divide it in two parts making part one and one two because one part is a subject and other is a predicate table a part a of table is a person or a thing right this one and this part which defines person or a thing is a subject okay and the part which defines the action or what is going on is known as predicate so in a sentence a person animal thing or a place we speak or talk about is a subject and the b part this part which defines what work is going on what is happening is called predicate in first two point peter runs for peter is a subject 